There's one last lesson from the book of Jude that I want to share with you, and here's what it is. Trust God to keep you from danger. Jude ends his letter with this wonderful doxology. This wonderful, it's like a worship song that he just sort of wrote out. Here's what he says, verse 24. To him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you before his glorious presence without fault and with great joy. To the only God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, power, and authority through Jesus Christ our Lord before all ages, now and forevermore. Amen. This is a very appropriate way to end the letter. Because I wouldn't want us to walk away from Jude just thinking, wow, I have so much pressure on me. I have so much pressure to live up to God's standard. And if I don't, all these dangers are going to come and get me. They're going to tear me away from God. We don't need to live in fear of that. Instead, we should take the responsibility to be aware of the dangers that every church and every Christian faces. We should be re responsible to build godly habits, to pray and to read the word of God and to honor God with our lives. That's simply what it means to be on the road of becoming a mature Christian and especially helping other people. That's, that's a true mark of maturity when you help others pursue God, help others when they wander away from God. But ultimately, our hope is not in ourselves. Our hope is in God. Our hope is in God to protect us from dangers and to keep us from stumbling that ultimately the way that we are going to be in God's presence for all eternity in heaven is not because of anything that we've done, but because of what Jesus Christ has done for us. Jesus is the one who saves us and rescues us. God is the one who will present us faultless and blameless before his sight, meaning that we will be clothed in the righteousness of Jesus Christ as Christians. And so we don't have to live in life, we don't have to live life petrified or terrified or, or sort of uh, just sort of, you know, wall ourselves up in our room and just say, you know, the world is too dangerous. Even the, even the church is too dangerous. I'm just going to stay indoors. That's not what God wants. God wants us to go out into our church, into the world, and to be a, a witness for him, trusting that he will watch over us, he'll protect us. And together, as we build ourselves up on God's word, we can learn and grow together. We can not just defend ourselves against dangers, but we can grow closer to God and tell the world about his great love for them. So that's Jude's message to us, that yes, there's dangers in the world, but God will protect us through all those dangers.